In the sweltering mid-afternoon sun, the grief-stricken family of 30-year-old Irene Gonzalez erects a shrine in her memory. The employee of Blancanoo Lodge was traveling along the San Antonio Road sometime after 9 p.m. on Sunday. Gonzalez was headed in the direction of Cristo Rey Village when the Toyota 4Runner she was driving went up in flames. Helpless, she was trapped inside the vehicle. Police responded to a vehicle that was on fire on the Cristo Rey Road in the Cayo District. Upon the arrival, they saw a vehicle uh, engulfed in flames. After the uh, flames were extinguished and persons came uh, to help, uh, the lifeless body of a female was found inside the vehicle. She was identified as Irene Gonzalez. Uh, she was taken to the hospital thereafter where she was, was pronounced dead on arrival. Cesar Gonzalez was on hand today to remove the charred remains of the SUV from the scene of the deadly fire that claimed the life of his daughter. She, before she went, a nice person. She's a nice worker. She's working in, in Black Canoe Lunch. She has uh, be supervisor. But to me, it's my beautiful, beautiful daughter. That's it. How did you learn of this incident? Did you get a call? Somebody informed you that something had happened? Well, it, just I get a call. By the time I come in, it don't be a fire. That's it. Irene was coming from work, or what, what brought her into this area? She's uh, staying in San Antonio, but I don't know if she's moving from here to there. I don't know. I don't know. According to the Belize Police Department, Irene Gonzalez was by herself at the time of the incident. Investigators are exploring the likelihood that she may have taken her own life. Investigation is that she was alone in the vehicle when the vehicle caught fire and she succumbed to injuries she received. Are police looking at this as a possible suicide, considering there are reports that she may have sent some distress? Yes, that is an angle we are looking at. We are gathering information as to what she was going through at the time. And that is the information we have. The fire department will provide a report. And thereafter, uh, the investigation will determine what transpired there. Had she sent out text messages prior? Yes, that is the information we have. Yes, correct. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.